The next big thing in science is really, really small, and Clive Roberts knows all about it. Nano is basically one millionth of a millimetre. So just how small is a nanometer? My favourite one is, is the rate your hair grows. So your hair will grow about a nanometer a second. Or you can think about another one is if a seagull lands on a big American aircraft carrier, one of those really big ones, and a seagull lands on it, the aircraft carrier will sink by one nanometer. This tiny technology is already all around us, used in things like cosmetics and sporting equipment, but a key use will be making tiny containers to deliver drugs inside our bodies. Well, drug delivery normally is about taking a drug that, for example, have, might have severe side effects and delivering it only to the place where you want it to act. For example, if you think about uh, anti-cancer drugs, which have very serious side effects, we think of hair falling out and things like that. If we can deliver the drug only to the place where, for example, the tumour, then we can get rid of those side effects and we can improve the action of the drug. So nanotechnology is about building new stuff, not just shrinking the old stuff. You look at nanotechnology in the sort of wider sphere, people often see um, images of mini submarines running around our bloodstream and perhaps attacking bad cells and delivering. And really that's kind of unfortunate because what that's giving the impression of is that we're kind of taking a traditional engineering approach, like taking a submarine and just miniaturising it. And that's really not what nanotechnology is about at all, particularly in drug delivery. Well, all this nanotechnology stuff might be really small, but I tell you what, they've got some pretty big buildings. Now, you don't have to come here to find out about it, though. There's actually a nanotechnology roadshow that's starting tomorrow in Nottingham. It's also travelling to Derby, Leicester, Loughborough and Lincoln. You can find out where and when at our website. But for now, this is Brady Harron for East Midlands Today at the University of Nottingham.